What's up guys? This is Matt with NorCal Screen Print Supply. Today I'm gonna to run you through a quick color separation for basic spot color. This type of stuff, you know, most people encounter uh, every week, like most type of jobs. So here we have a basic four color job um, from the homie Lord Quaz. Uh, so we have a light purple, dark purple, white and black. So basically how I go about this, um, load up our file, select the wand, and make sure your layer is selected. And there's a lot of different ways to do this. I'm gonna do like the easiest one. So um, select your wand on your, on your keyboard. You can just press the W button or in your tools over here is the sparkly little wand. Um, so we'll start by just clicking the wand on our light purple here. And then I right click and press similar. That's gonna select all of your purple of that color range. If you wanna change the amount of purple, you're gonna adjust this tolerance up here. That's the amount of color it's gonna select. So once you have it all selected, go ahead and right click again and go layer via copy. So here what it's done is made a layer of all of our light purple. Okay, so we're gonna go through that with our other four colors. Real quick, we're gonna Click on the dark purple, right click, similar. Right click again, layer via copy. Now we have all of our dark purple. Uh, one more time with our white. Right click, similar, right click, layer via copy. All this stuff is just super re repetitive as well. Once you get like the basics down, it's really easy. And lastly with the black, Similar, copy. Okay, so now we have our four layers. We have black, white, dark purple, light purple. Next step I do is to label. Once you turn them all to black for films, it's hard to identify what's what. Organization is key. So light purple, dark purple, white. Black. Okay, so now we have our four layers all separated. Now we need to convert them to black. So the next, the easiest way to do this is black obviously is black, so we're gonna skip that. White, we go to make sure our layer is selected, image adjustment, and replace color. Sample your color, just drag that lightness bar all the way down. See that converted it to black. And then just go through the other layers and make sure all of them, you do the same. Okay, so we're almost done with this. So now we have our four layers converted to black. Uh, but if you see here, we have like little uh, gaps in between. So what the next step is for multicolor is called trapping. So basically what you're gonna do is select your layer. Again, I use the magic wand, like that's the tool I use with mostly everything. Select, go similar. And then for this, you're gonna go select, modify, expand, and depending on your resolution of your file, if you're working in 300 or 600, you should be working in high resolution on all these files, at least 300. Um, the amount of pixels is gonna be based on the resolution. So for a 300 DPI file, generally I'm gonna expand by about three pixels. So we'll expand by three, click okay. Um, you can do all these short, uh, keyboard shortcuts. I'll just go, um, Uh, basically, what is shift, F5, that's a fill, black, click OK, and it's going to fill your three pixel trap. Apple D for deselect, and then continue with the rest of your layers. Dark purple, similar, select, modify, expand, three, click OK, 
Shift F5. Okay for fill. On to the other three. For the black let's go a little bit more let's switch that to four black is usually like your defining top layer it's okay if that one's a little bit larger so we'll go ahead and fill that and now when we zoom in we see a black square that's representative of everything overlapping each other so that when you do print this you're not using a butt registration and everything is going to slightly overlap just make your registration much easier so now we have that done. Last thing we do is place our registration marks. Another useful tool for this is take the largest layer of your file. In this case, it's going to be the black with the largest um, outlying information. Select that in both of your registration marks. And when you're using the move tool, these alignment tools will pop up and just click center and it's gonna justify you. Now you have center marks of your registration marks. We'll give you a true center of your file. So now you have center lines. I'm going to hold option, click and shift. That's a duplicate. And then add two more registration marks on either side. Label everything, and now we have our films basically ready for print. We have black, white, dark purple, light purple. The last step when you're doing this manually is to label your files and make it big enough so you can see it. Solo your layer, boom. Now you're off to the races, you can print your films. Cool, so that was probably as quick and easy as I can uh, explain a multicolor color separation. Uh, the quicker you do it, or the more you do it, the faster you're gonna get. Um, watch this video a bunch, and hopefully you get quick at it. Thanks guys.